Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from CyberPanel and in today's video we are going to be learning about what to do once your WordPress site is hacked. So your WordPress websites are frequently subjected to being hacked since it is completely open source and there's a lot of uh, room for improvement for the code and for the developers and in the same way that gives an opportunity for malicious people to have a go to just hack your websites and create some disruptions or create a number of things that might be harmful for your website. So in today's video, we are going to be learning about how you can fix all of those problems one by one. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Okay, so whenever your WordPress site is hacked, you are going to see a lot of information on your site. For example, if you visit your site, you will be seeing um, some changes in you, uh, like the look of your site. You might be seeing some pop-up uh, pop ads. You might be seeing some misinformation on your site. You won't be able to sign in on, in your account or more often than not, you will see some malicious activity on your website. Now, the reasons that your site is hacked is either you have insecure password. For example, most people try to enter passwords that they can remember very easily on the first look. For example, like admin or one, two, three, four, five. These are all insecure passwords. Number two is the outdated WP core files and plugins and themes. So your plugins and your themes might be outdated. So you can see your plugins uh, and uh, from the left hand side menu your and your themes in the appearance tab. Next is your plugins and themes are from unreliable sources. So for example, you might have downloaded your plugins or themes from sites that are offering them for free, but in the end, they are ending up as malicious codes. And lastly, you lack basic security. For example, uh, you won't be, uh, you, you don't have limited access or login attempts because of that, uh, brute force might be very easily attempted on your site. So all of these are the reasons your site is hacked. Now let us see how you can uh, check uh, or you, how you can uh, fix your site once it is hacked. Okay, so step number one is to remain calm. For example, if you have your site is being hacked, you're seeing malicious code, on your site, you will get agitated and irritated and eventually do something that will do more harm than good. Now to resolve that problem, what you can do is just to have a clear mind and you, uh, you should proceed after that so that you don't do any step uh, or do a misstep which would eventually do more harm to your site. Number second is that you need to set the maintenance mode on your website. Now to do that, go into your cyber panel dashboard, click on WordPress, click on list WordPress. It will take you to your list WordPress page. From here, click on your WordPress site title and it will take you to the WordPress manager of that site. Now from here, all you have to do is in, uh, enable the maintenance mode over here. Once you do that, your maintenance mode will be open up, uh, will be started and your users and visitors will see a maintenance page instead of your site and you can do your maintenance in the back end. Okay, number second is that you need to change your WordPress site's passwords. Since your hackers most probably know all of your passwords, it's better to change passwords for every user. So just go into your WordPress site dashboard, click on users from the left hand side menu. Longer. Okay, so once your user page is opened up, just open up every user one by one. Scroll down to the account management part and click on set new password and it will give you a randomly generated password. You can also set your own passwords and once you're done, just click on update profile and password for that profile will be changed. In the same way, in the same way, you can change passwords for every user so that all the passwords are changed for your WordPress site. 
next step is to update all plugins and themes now this part is super simple with cyber panels new wordpress manager all you have to do is go into your wordpress manager as i have shown you before that is from wordpress to list wordpress to your wordpress site title into your wordpress manager once you come over here click on the plugin from the top bar and you will see all of your plugins and which of them are installed which of them are activated the state is going to show you the activated um, plugins and the updates are going to show you which one of your plugins needs to be activated for example right now all of my plugins are up to date but if uh, my Lightspeed cache, for example, was not up, uh, updated. It would have shown an update button and I would just simply click on it and my plugin will, would be updated. In the same way, go into your themes and delete or sorry, update any theme that might be uh, not up to date. So simply click on the update button and it will be updated for you. Next step is that take any unrecognized user off so for example we were in users tab in our dashboard so from dashboard into users you will come into this page and you, for example right now I only have two users but for example if I might have a lot more users I would have known that okay this user is not someone that I recognize and I should delete him so that probably is the hacker so all you have to do is hover your cursor on the user and you will see a delete button. Click on that and your user will be deleted. In that same way, delete any unrecognized users off. Okay, so once your unrecognized users are off, you can also install WordPress code once more. So for example, there are there's some malicious code in your WordPress core files. So what you can do is go into your cyber panel, uh, go into your cyber panel, click on WordPress, lid, list WordPress. From your list WordPress website uh, page, just click on your WordPress site title, go into your WordPress manager, and from here, you will see in your general uh, security right underneath over here. So click on your security and you will see a pop-up tab over here. Click on data integrity is going to show you any files that might be not okay. And once you have done that, you would see that there's some error in it. Click on reinstall WP core and it's going to reinstall all of your default WP core files. So it's super simple to reinstall WP core with cyber panel now. So it's just simply one click away to reinstall and basically refresh all of your WP core files. Okay, next step is to scan your WordPress site using a security plugin. We will be using WordFence today. Go into your plugins, click on add new. From add new, just search for WordFence. Install it. And once it is installed, you can activate it. So once it is installed, you can activate your plugin. And once you, it is activated, you will see a WordFence tab over here. Click on that and click on scan from the left hand side menu. So it's going to take you to your scan page. What you can do is basically scroll down and click on start a new scan. It's going to just scan all of your WordPress site and detect any files that is malicious you can delete all of those files as well for example right now I, we cannot find any malicious files in my account but once if they have found it I could select them and delete all of my files okay so once you have scanned your uh, whole site and you have seen that there are no malicious files detected 
or if they are files detected, you can delete all of them. And once you have done that, the next step that you have to do is reinstall all the plugins and themes. So simply go into your plugins, deactivate them, delete them one by one, especially the ones that for you know for sure that are have been downloaded from unreliable sources. Just simply delete them and reinstall them once again. Same goes with your themes. Go into your appearance, click on themes, and from here, download, uh, sorry, delete your themes one by one safely. First of all, delete the ones that are not activated. And once you have done that, install a theme that is, you know, reliable, activate that theme and then delete the last theme. So once you have done that, you will see that your site would have been much better than before. Okay, so next is that you need to purge your database or you need to clean out your database. Now for that, go into your cyber panel dashboard. Again, go into WordPress, click on list WordPress. It will redirect you to the list WordPress websites. Click on your WordPress site title. It will take you to the WordPress manager for that site. From here, click on database from the top bar and click on your database name. It will redirect you to the PHP My Admin for your uh, cyber panel. And once it is open, you can optimize your database very quickly. So let's just wait for PHP My Admin. Okay, so once this is done, you can see that this is your database name. Click on your database name from the left hand side menu. Check all of your tables and uh, from the with selected drop down menu, click on optimize table and it will optimize all of your tables. And once it is done, you will see a drastic change in the appearance of your WordPress site. And lastly, if nothing works, you can always come back to your cyber panel dashboard, click on support from the upper right corner and contact our support team, which is there day in and day out, ready to help you and take you out of any mess whatsoever. So I hope this video was really informative for you guys. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe cyber panel.